Hi, everybody. Well, I have to be quiet here. I'm still in the hospital. So uh, I thought I'd give everybody an update because I'm getting a ton of text messages and some people uh, messaging me asking, how is my Don doing? Well, I'm unshaven, I'm unshowered, but I'm still here and doing well. But uh, there were a little couple complications uh, overnight and that, but uh, yeah, I'll tell you that in just a second. Okay, so something really weird happened to me. Um, when you go in, they very professional and everything. Everyone's been great. Absolutely uh, terrific here so far. Um, doctors, nurses, everybody. And when I'm going in for my surgery, they are sitting me up on the operating table and they're giving me different liquids and attaching all the tubes and different IVs and everything. And they're getting ready to do the epidural. And the gentleman in front of me stands in front of me and he says, uh, says, y'all, they always give me this job. He says, cause he says, I'm like a, a, a professional hugger because what they have to do is they squeeze your shoulders together in front. So it widens your back behind you. So it's easier to put the epidural in. But the strange thing is once I started talking to him for like a minute, I don't remember anything after that. I don't remember them putting the epidural in. I don't remember weight lying down onto the operating table. I'm pretty sure they didn't operate on me sitting up. So I don't remember any of that, which is, that's the first, like I've had epidurals and everything before. And I, that's the first time I, I have a complete memory block of that happening, which is so, so strange. So yeah, kind of odd, right? But, um, the operation went well, uh, went in on time, came out, woke up about two hours after the operation. And uh, then there was some issues getting me a bed. <laughs> um, the bed I was assigned to had someone in it who had to be moved to another bed who had somebody in it. So they had to wait for that person to leave. Then they had to clean the bed. Then they forgot that they had to send the other person who was in my bed to that bed. And then they had to order another orderly. Finally sent that person to the other bed. Then they said they're cleaning the bed. But they weren't cleaning the bed because it turns out there was no bed. The guy was on a stretcher. And so they had to find me a bed. Anyway, from 4 o'clock in the afternoon until 11.30 at night is finally when I got called up to go to my actual room. And uh, so I'm up here and then uh, the fun part starts. You have to learn to eat again, tolerate your food. Um, apparently the surgery went well. There was a little complication and that was because of all my scar tissues from previous surgeries, um, my adrenal gland was actually kind of stuck to part of my bowel. And they actually had to cut the adrenal gland, a little hole in the bowel to free the adrenal gland and then had to repair the bowel afterwards, which we kind of weren't expecting. So that was unexpected. like, okay, another new twist, right? Let's cut another piece of hole in me. <laughs> so we did that. And then yesterday I said, uh, normally I've been going to the washroom. They give you that big like a milk jug kind of thing here to go to the washroom. And I've been using that, I've been going well. That's not an issue. I've actually been up and walking, so that's good. But then I get up last night and decided I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna use the jug. I'm gonna walk to the bathroom. So I walk to the bathroom and what do I do? I pull out my epidural. So then I had to get the anesthesiologist and the nurse back in and they had to reinstall it and everything. Apparently it's no big deal, it happens all the time, but I just, ah, oh, really? <laughs> I just trying to complicate my stuff. So, so today is day two. I'm uh, doing well. I've had a different nurse every day and every night. Uh, they've all been wonderful. 
can't complain. I feel pretty good. Um, and uh, now it's just to get my body working again. Get the bowels moving again. That's really the only thing left. And then they're going to start taking me off the epidural. The epidural right now I'm at 10 for pain killing. And then they're going to wean it down to 7. And then 4. And then eventually 0 over the next couple days. So that's where we're at. And my breakfast is coming. So I'm going to say goodbye. And thanks everybody for all your well wishes and everything. But I'm doing really well. So, uh, again, great job here at the Ottawa Hospital. And uh, until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation. And if you're like me, a good operation.